let's pick up where we left off last week. Go ahead and grab a marker and let's get to outlining our pencil lines in black. Once you have finished covering your pencil marks with your black outlining tool, it's time to erase any leftover lines that you see from your pencil. Okay, so let's talk about a little extra 2020 touch to our portraits. In our current world, we've been hiding our smile for a while with masks to protect ourselves and those around us. With all the options to customize your mask, why not also customize one for your self-portrait too? You can start by taking any scrap paper you have. Here's some leftover paper I found by my desk. I'm going to line it up so that it covers just the mouth? No. The mouth, nose, and eyes? No. That's right, just the nose and mouth. See how my black outlines are showing through my scrap paper? I'm going to trace around these lines I already made to help create my mask shape. I can even follow down my middle split to create more contrast in my mask, or I can draw some line and shape patterns. Once you're done, it's time to cut it out. Nice! Put it off to the side for now, and let's talk color. You can use either colored pencil or crayon for this project. I'm personally going to work with colored pencil. Now, we've talked a lot about the idea of contrast and how we can use that in our work like Picasso did. We accomplished that with creating a variety of lines and shapes that created opposites in our work. We're going to do that with color too, just like he did. So we'll do that by using warm and cool colors. Warm colors are red, orange, and yellow while cool colors are green, blue, and purple. We could decide to make one side of our portrait entirely cool colors and the other side entirely warm colors, or we could just color individually with the shapes and flip them as we work. For instance, I'm going to color my lips on the left side with a warm color, but on the right side, I'll color it in with a cool color. Watch as I repeat this step, but with my glasses. Maybe now I'll use a cool color on the left side and then a warm color on the right side. Remember, Picasso's cubism portraits were meant to feel a bit strange, uncomfortable, confusing. When coloring in your portrait, allow yourself to experiment and get a bit wild. For instance, I could color in my hair all one color, or I could color it in with multiple. I might mix one combination of a warm and cool color on one side, and then a second combination on the other side.
would you look at this? I want to remind all of you too that self-portraits can be very realistic to what we look like, but they can also be representations of how we want others to see us or how we imagine that we look. Wouldn't it be cool if I had four colors like this in my hair? <laughs> I sure think so. As you can see, I am still reflecting my warm and cool colors whenever I fill in my shapes. If I color in one side with a warm color, then the other side should be a cool color, and vice versa. Keep in mind how sometimes color can influence emotions. For instance, when we see colors like yellow, we might often think of happiness. Red might be for anger. Blue could be for sadness. So here comes the last part of my portrait, my skin. Now, you could choose to do your skin in one of two ways. You can either keep working with your warm and cool colors and sort of create a funky contrast, or you can color in with your specific skin tone. If you choose to do the second option, try to color in one side lightly and then the other side more dark so that we can see contrast in that way, light and dark. Time for backgrounds. For this, I want you to get crazy. Those silly jazz hands of mine are me being very excited. Since your background should be filled with line and shape patterns, you can fill these in however you would like. Maybe you could combine colors into one shape. <laughs> Whoa. Almost done. There! Oh, but wait, we forgot one thing, our mask. Okay, so the only rule for your mask is there are no rules. You can color it in however you choose. I'm going to continue my warm versus cool color scheme, but you could maybe add more design to yours or maybe just do one color. You choose. Voila, artiste. Our Picasso-inspired self-portraits are done. We are officially artists of the Cubism movement. Be sure to show you with a mask on and off version of your self-portrait when you submit your project. I'm so proud of you, and I'll see you next time. Bye, artists.